So what you hear on this uh, video, I've had a lot of people in North America asking me what's on, you know, the long wave band, because there are quite a lot of people not hearing anything. And long wave uh, in North America, unless you have a good setup and low noise and you're close to the coast, some people are lucky in getting transatlantic broadcasts. But for the most part, and if you're really inland, a lot of you will hear only one thing, and it's something like you just heard here, which are non-directional beacons. The, these are at local airports, and it's an ancient system that is being decommissioned right now. So um, it's time to listen to them because in a couple of years from now, they're probably going to be mostly extinct. They are a navigation purpose for aircraft. And of course, because of newer systems and new ways of, you know, tracking their positions uh, in reference to the airports and all of that, non-directional beacons are not needed as they were before. And actually, a lot of planes don't have the equipment to really properly use these now. I'll share the uh, list from uh, William Hepburn, which I believe is one of the best lists out there. It has lots of information. It's up to date. You see here, 24 May 2022. I've talked about it in the past. It's totally worth it checking it out. Uh, the size of the funds, and it tells you here, the size of the funds goes with the power used for the different beacons. So you can check out all the different beacons that are on the air and from where on the different frequencies. What I recommend if you are trying to get them is to try to find the quietest location you have and tune very, very slowly. I would recommend tuning in single sideband because you'll be here able to hear the really faint signals easily in single sideband where you might miss that something was there if you're in the um, AM mode. And of course, you can brush up on your Morse code and identification with identif identification of the different letters for the Morse code ID here. So this is uh, nice to have it. So here you have 407. And of course, 407, if we looked at this list that I just told you with the Morse code, Z, H, U. So 407. And he just Morse code ZHU. So let's go down to 407 here. And 407, here we go. 407 ZHU, you can see it here. 407, this is from Saint Subar. This is just south, southeast of Montreal. And it is this beacon I'm hearing right now, which is a very low powered beacon as you see here it only has 95 watts extremely low power but it is relatively close to me so that's how you ID these beacons and once again use single sideband is going to make it a lot easier I'll share the list uh, in the description below just go and click this list updated all the time and uh, don't wait because uh, if you want to DX some long wave beacons Now's the time before they all disappear from uh, the airports around North America. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.